Hello everyone, welcome to another Daily Gym. Today is Monday, June 3rd, 2024, and I did not do an episode last Thursday. So today I want to talk about how the time keeps on ticking. So as I'm sitting here in the room, there is a loud clock that ticks on every uh, second of the minute. Tick, 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 tick. And I've been at a friend's place, been sleeping on a couch, and just reminds me that even if we miss an episode, even if we miss something, no matter what happens in our lives, time keeps on ticking. Unless somebody comes up with a new phys- theory of physics that says time can actually go backwards, our belief is that time goes forwards. And how often do things happen in our lives where we... Um, think that time just stops or we we focus so much on what happened before and not focusing on what's going to happen next or what's happening now i know so often there was a tv show i used to love called 24 and one thing i loved about the main character jack bauer is that something would happen he'd get in a fight with somebody but then later on he would need that person and he'd say you know what whatever happened happened we're focusing on now and i need you now can i trust you And there's a certain element to just recognizing that life moves on and that we have new things that we are encountering. What happened in the past, while it may influence us, now we have to make a decision now. And I think a lot of times we look at conflict and we focus so much on this person did that. Well, that person, you know, they did this to me and they did that to me. It's like, good, okay, that all happened. Now what are we going to do? But things in the past happened. What are we going to do now? And that helps me move forward when I remember to do it. Uh, you know, it's, it can be really hard to remember this. A lot of times we can get so focused on figuring out what happened in the past instead of just recognizing that time continues to tick. The clock continues to tick. Time continues to move. And if we are stuck in the past, we are not focusing on what the priorities may be in the moment. And I think I look at some of the global conflicts and the personal conflicts that are happening in the world, and I think a lot of times we just don't recognize that one time is moving forward. What what happened happened. Let's focus on the now and what we can do now and how we want to respond now. And I also think we don't realize that Our time as humans on this planet is limited. So each tick of the clock means there's one less tick of our heartbeat, um, one less breath that we take. And I really wish we'd pay a lot more attention to that and just focus on the moment and be present and really appreciate the time that we have with other people in our lives, with ourselves, with the food, with the environment, with the plants, the animals, the insects, the uh, everything around us. I just, just wish we appreciated it more and really wanted to live instead of just waiting until the time ends and waiting until the clock uh, runs out. What if we just really tried to appreciate every tick of the clock. All right, that's the one for today. Um, I'll do one more tomorrow. I'll do one tomorrow, probably earlier on, so uh, I don't have to be quiet so that um, not everyone in the house hears and wakes up. All right, take care.